What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we are gonna be doing the first shots on this guy. This is the Taurus TH9. I found this at my local store for a little bit less than $200, and I was like, man, if this is a good gun, this could be a really big hit. Now, I've heard of these, but I haven't tried them. I've seen you guys tell me in the comment section a few times to get one, and I just haven't got around to it. It is a full-size nine millimeter pistol with a double single action design and a manual safety. Looks like it has a decent set of sights, pretty terrible coating, but the ergonomics on the gun actually feel really good. The magazine compatibility looks like with the Taurus G3 series, they look like the exact same magazines, and overall, it looks like it could be a killer gun for the price, but there's only one way to find out. All three of us are gonna be shooting it today, put a couple hundred rounds through this gun of different types of ammo, so we'll put it through the ringer today, see if it's good enough for you. All right, so we're gonna put the first mag through it. We're at about 20 yards, and we'll just see how it goes. I mean, that went really well. I did not expect that. Stiff magazine release, pretty stiff trigger. Certainly something you can get used to, but it ran. So, so far, ergonomics are good. The grip feels really good. Magazines feel pretty quality. Safety is relatively easy to use. And for the $200 price point, the fact that you can get 17 plus one, in my opinion, is pretty good. Full-size handgun can serve a lot of purposes. Lightweight because of polymer frame, so you could carry this without much of an issue. On top of that, make for a pretty decent home defense gun, again, if it's reliable. Oh, and then the other shoe drops. So what we have here, a little bit of a failure. Well, made it worse. Less good. Got a couple of Wilson Combat targets right there, 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 and there. And uh, we're about at maybe 35 yards from the back one here, maybe five yards from that guy. So I'll shoot him, 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 and then the back one. I missed one, so I figured I'd shoot him like 10 times. There you go. So we got her at about 55 yards now. We'll just see if we can make some hits. Did I hit that? Nope. Hi. Where's it going? I can't see it. I literally have no idea. Another, Another mouth failure. Function. Okay. I'm gonna try this Taurus out. I've never had good luck with Tauruses, so. It's, uh, it's definitely different. It's a lot better than the first Taurus I ever shot, which was like a copycat Beretta. <laughs> Feels like a fucking toy. <laughs> <laughs> which was awful. It malfunctioned like every time. See if, it, okay. see if it goes in, which it doesn't. But this got through a whole clip, and I actually kind of didn't hate it, so. Damn. I don't hate it. I do feel like the trigger is a bit long, but yeah. double single action. Sure, yeah. sure. All right, so we have some MagTech 115 grain in here, and we are gonna be trying this guy out at 50 yards, and we'll see how it goes. Kind of rudimentary sights, pretty obviously off-center in my personal opinion. You yep. can see a little bit of light there and uh -huh. a whole bunch there. And then we've got the world's okayest trigger, so we'll give it a shot. That seems to be a continual problem. That failure to eject all the way. 
Interesting. Well, not the easiest gun to shoot at 50, but certainly not the hardest, and I uh, wish it would iron out that little failure to eject problem. I wonder if that's just the extractor, but we'll have to see. Wow, I'm awful. Low. You're low. Low. There you go. Hi. I don't know which one you're shooting at. Everything on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Aim small, miss small. Patriot. Pick, not only shoot at the plate, but shoot at a small little thing on the plate you're looking at. I wish that helped. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so one of the downsides to this gun is it only has one magazine. There's three shooters shooting here, so a lot of this video is just us standing around waiting for the one mag. But uh, so far the mag tech went pretty good and I think it did a decent job. Now we're gonna be trying this lead-free stuff that they, uh, 1776 actually sent us this, and we're gonna try some out and see how it goes. I'm a big fan of lead-free ammo if it works, but sometimes it's hit or miss. I don't hate it, but I don't necessarily love it either. Yeah, I would definitely say the problems are due to ejection, because the ejection pattern on that is fucking wild. I, it hit me and I thought it went in my shirt. PTSD. I mean... Woo! Your dress just broke. I know. Right, it's going <laughs> forward, backward, straight behind you. One went off to the left, which I didn't even know could happen. You never <laughs> That's entertaining. Know. All right, so first shots went pretty well. The TH9 was okay. I would consider that on par with most of the Taurus guns. I think this one, ergonomic speaking, was a cut above most of the other ones. I would argue that this is a more pleasant gun to shoot than even the G series, which I generally recommend from Taurus. I like the double single action design, so you get the double strike capability. You get the dual system, which I like. Uh, longer trigger for carry. So that's really good. And you get a light, crisp, well, sort of light and crisp, single action trigger for accuracy purposes. And then obviously the reset on the gun was pretty good as well. I'll show you the trigger here. So the double, this is a single action first, we'll go there. The trigger pull, I would say, probably around five pounds, one of the heavier single action triggers, but in the realm of like striker fired guns and stuff, not that bad. The reset is actually pretty good. You can see right there. And then the pull is good. Now, the one of the things I like about the gun a lot is even though it's double action, the slide is really light, and I think that's gonna be really good for people with arthritic cans or people that can't chamber around quite as easily. Also, because of the good ergonomics and because of the light slide and because of the overall pleasant shooting experience, I think that would also be good for new and maybe elderly shooters because the recall impulse on this was very low also, which I do find to happen on double single action guns. Now it's got a rail on it so you can put a light on it. It has basic three dot sights which are as basic as they get but they do work and in real life distances, zero to 10 yards, they'll be definitely effective. Slide cuts are good. The coating on the gun is terrible, as accustomed with almost all Taurus guns. If you're interested in the world's worst coating by a Taurus, uh, I wouldn't leave it outside, I can tell you that. And over the years of carrying it, it will rust eventually. Now, the grip is really what I like the most about this gun. Really good texture, the finger grooves fit me well, and it's got kind of a Jericho 
style grip angle to it, which I'm a pretty big fan of. And the gun looks good as well. Now I think those are G magazines, the Taurus G series magazines. And if that's the case, then I would actually have a lot of magazines and I could have brought them out. But I don't think I actually noticed that until I was already out on the range. And we're moving right now, so I'm not even sure where my Taurus magazines actually are. So we just shot the one magazine a day. And that is gonna be your experience if you buy the gun, because only one magazine came with it but it came with it for a price of $200, which is very, very affordable. And especially in today's market, where people need guns more than ever, or people at least want them more than ever, and guns are more expensive than they've ever been, a $200 gun is very appealing to especially new shooters or people that need something to defend themselves right now, but they can't afford anything else. Between this and a high point, I'm going this. Same reliability as a high point, however, the ergonomics, the shootability are far superior on this. A lot lighter recoil, a lot easier to get accurate hits. The high point has a blowback operation system, which is horrible to shoot. It has a very heavy slide and a pretty terrible trigger. And I think overall, if you're gonna go sub $200, the TH9 is a formidable opponent in that category. Now we had three or four malfunctions, which I kind of expected, uh, three different types of ammo and the same malfunction on all types of ammunition. It also had pretty erratic ejection as well, but for the $200 price point, you can't have everything. And it's up to you to decide whether or not you're willing to accept that amount of reliability or whether it's probably better off, in my personal opinion, you're probably better off paying maybe $100 or $200 more and getting yourself into a CZP10 series, which is going to be bomb proof reliable. But if you can't afford that, not a bad gun, and certainly a gun worth testing in the future. Sorry about the wind, the wind just gusted up, and we can't hide behind anything out here, so my bad on that, we'll fix it for future videos. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Please help out your Oklahoma shelters, and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.